How's it going, everybody? Arthur Ray is here with winners.com, and today we have one NHL and NBA parlay that we're going to be creating for the Thursday, November 9, 2023 slate of games. But before we get into that, I want to talk to you guys today about a promotion that we are running over at Winners, where you guys save 65% off on all my packages. But I notice if you use the promo code AD6R4R65, that is all one word, no spaces. Make sure to go check out my profile as well as some of our other top performers. As an addition to this video, you get for free on YouTube.com every day. You guys get access to my written picks as well as what I'm betting on throughout the day, so you guys can always stay informed. In addition, we have a link in the description below to link to all of our affiliate sports sign up. So if you guys are in the market for a new sports book, if you guys just want to take advantage of a free of some free bonus bets, make sure to go check that out. The link is very simple, it shows you which sports book we offer. Bonus bets for each sports book and only to go sign up so you guys get the bonus bets. We get an affiliate bonus, everybody wins. So let's start with our one hockey game. We have the New York Islanders on the road. They are 5 3 and 3, 4 to the Metropolitan. They're taking on the 10 1 and 1 top of the Atlantic Division, Boston Bruins. Now, this game is going to be interesting. Uh, both teams are playing extremely well defensively, and for that reason and that reason only, because I don't trust uh, the I don't know if it's a score, but I think this Bruins team is going to struggle against solid goaltending. I'm going to be going with the under five and a half goals in this game. I really like both teams on the defensive side. I think it's going to be a very low scoring game. So go with that. Next up, we have the Milwaukee Bucks taking on the, taking on the Indiana Pacers. Uh, the Bucks were on a three game winning streak. They are five and two overall. Uh, the Pacers are. Five and three right now. They're on a two game winning streak of their own. Chris Middleton is considered a game time decision. Obviously, Giannis is going to play after being ejected yesterday. Uh, give me the side with two of the best players on the court, or the two best players on the court, I should say, in Giannis and Damian Lillard. Uh, Bucks only favored by three and a half. I'm going to go with them to cover the spread. And then the final game we have it's the Mexico City game. So this is at a neutral site as the Atlanta Hawks and the Orlando Magic are off. Uh, this is going to be interesting. The, the pace, or excuse me, the Hawks are four and three on the year, four to the East, while the Magic are also four and three on the year. Uh, this is going to be interesting just to see how they play. Obviously, Dante Murray is the leading scorer for Atlanta. I just think the injuries are going to play a big factor. Uh, Gary Harris is pulled out for Orlando. Wesley Matthews is pulled out for the Hawks. Uh, Little bit of injury concern. I'm gonna go with Orlando plus three and a half here. I just think Orlando is the better team overall. I think Atlanta has the top tier talent. I just don't think they have the ability to win uh convincingly in this game. So again, we have under five and a half goals on the Bruins Islanders game. We have the Bucks minus three and a half, and we have the Orlando Magic plus three and a half as our plays for today. That's all I have for you guys. Make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.